So I'll tell you a really close call that Jim and I had. Very close call. The closest I've ever, um, closest I've ever been to um, hitting a person in a car happened the other day when Jim and I were coming back from a long drive metal detecting. We went up north. We must have hit 20 something tot lots. And we were coming back to hit one more tot lot over near Jim's house. We were heading towards my house. He was gonna drop me off here. And we were hitting, we we're gonna hit another tot lot. There's a shopping mall on one side of the street um, and then a park on the other side of the street and there's a 35 mile an hour speed zone. And there's a raised sidewalk right next to the street um, in front of the park and a kid came around the corner. We were both, both of us were looking straight forward and we were looking at the park entrance, which is about three, 400 feet up um, the road there. But there's a little entrance to the park right there before the, before the park. And a kid came walking around the corner, probably 16 years old, uh, uh, a male, about 16 years old came around the corner bouncing his basketball on the sidewalk right next to the street. And Jim and I were both looking at the park at the time, looking for the top, looking at the top lot. That's what we were doing, hitting the top lots. And that ball bounced off that kid's foot. And the kid just immediately, I mean, just followed that ball, followed that ball right into the middle of the street. And right when that ball bounced off his foot, Jim started slamming on his brakes. If Jim wouldn't have started slamming on his brakes right when it bounced off his foot, that kid would be freaking dead. 35 miles an hour, if you get hit by a car going 35 miles an hour, there's not very much of a chance to survive that. Um, Jim and I were really shaken, shaken from that. Um, just no freaking brains, man. If your ball bounces out in the middle of the street, what were you taught? Wait, let the ball stand still, look both ways, and go get the freaking ball. Even dogs know this, right? If you, you can train a dog to stop, to stop at the street, man, stop and sit. Um, you know, kids are just so impulsive. You know, I know that stuff happens when you're a kid and you make some really unwise decisions, but, you know, man... That kid didn't even think twice about it, too. You know, right, I mean, we, we came this close. Just, you just locked him up. I mean, just slammed on the brakes. And we just came right, I mean, he was right at the hood, all right? Right in the middle of the headlights. Both Jim and I were just shaking, man. It, way, way scary to even think about what that would have looked like um, if Jim wasn't paying attention like he was. That kid would be hurt pretty much not not be alive right it's an ugly ugly scene man so anything can happen when you're out there um i always obey the speed limit so does jim you know we don't, we don't, we're, not, we're not crazy drivers but you know and i've seen a lot of crazy stuff happen crazy stuff happen man just uh it's really horrible to think about Something like that could have gone wrong. What, what if a, what if a, a semi truck was going right there, right? There is no way a semi truck would be able to stop for something like that, right? Even if you slammed on his brakes, there's just no way. Or if a person who just wasn't paying attention, right? It just, just it only takes a second to, just to look down and divert your attention. Shit can happen, right? Just like that. That's how accidents happen. Well, you just pay attention when you're driving, man really shook us up for a while there i was actually still shaking um several hours later you know um just going through my mind you know oh my god that turned out really freaking good that was a very good outcome and you know just stuff happens man well thank you for watching